welcome back to College Composition. Now that we have a little idea about basically what language is and the landscape of just how complicated it is and when we speak what's happening and um, the complexity of how we go from idea to meaning to, to words in, into language, let's talk about what we're going to be using language to create. And we're going to be creating essays. Um, we've all written essays. We wrote them in high school. We've had essay exams. But just what is an essay? You'll notice as I go through these talks in college composition that when we break something down or define something, we break it down to its simplest terms, the most simple components that there are. Um, when you define a term, really doesn't make a difference to me if you can you know, mimic a definition from a dictionary or say it word for word. If you can't explain that definition to somebody in a language that they can understand using your language, then you probably really don't understand the concept yourself. So we really want to start with that basis. A good rule of thumb, and we'll talk a little bit more about this when we get to the thesis statement, but a good rule of thumb is try to explain what you're, you're going over, what concept you're trying to learn, once you learn it. Try to explain it to like an eight-year-old or, or, or you know, uh, your, your little brother, your son, your nephew. And you, then it forces you to really break it down in simple terms, and then that will help you. So an essay, what is it? Well, the way that I want you to think of an essay, instead of you know, this big, crazy, complex thing that's hard to write, an essay is no more than a conversation. We have conversations every day. The only difference between this conversation and one you have with you know, your friend or your teacher or your husband or wife is that the person that you're writing to or your audience, they can ask you questions like somebody could in an oral conversation. So as the writer, you have to anticipate what questions they might have and kind of answer them before they can be questions. So an essay is just a conversation at its very heart. But there are different ways to construct essays. So today, let's just talk about maybe a few different cultures and what essays might look like or um, be in those cultures. First, let's talk about our our culture. We're, we, we're in Western culture right here. We speak English, um, you know, Greco-Roman society on up through today in America. Our essays are very linear. You see, it's just a, a line. Um, you can think of time when you think of this line. It can be vertical or horizontal, but it's very linear. They're very logical, very rational and methodical. This comes from thousands of years of art, philosophy, culture, history, war. It comes from what the, how the West was created, the Western world, and what we value. Um, we tend to tell people exactly what our point is. We don't veer from that point one little bit all the way through the essay, and then we tell them again what that point is at the end. Um, over and over again, again, very rational, very methodical, very deductive. We'll get into deductive reasoning when we talk about introductions a little bit. But then you also have an Eastern essay. Now, in the East, they might look at an essay as being more cyclical or circular, where we um, get to the point and we stay on the point, they might talk around the point continually without ever explicitly telling that reader that point, allowing the reader to come to that idea on his or her own. Also, they could slowly build up momentum or velocity toward a center, toward a thesis or a central idea, but stopping just short of explicitly, again, telling the reader what that idea is, letting that reader make that final step on their own. This also comes from thousands of years of culture, art, history, religion, everything that built up and, and made the Eastern culture what it is. Let's look again now at Middle Eastern culture. A Middle Eastern essay might start here, move here, and come all around here and look like this and go like that. A lot of people look at this and laugh and go, oh, you know, that's kind of crazy. But you know what? This is probably how most of us write. If I ask you to take out a pen or pencil right now or start typing just free writing about something, and we'll talk about free writing a little later, you would be writing and, you know, about your topic, and then all of a sudden your stomach would growl, and you'd be like, oh, man, I'm hungry. And then, then your mind would fly to, oh, man, you know, a, a, a Whopper would be good right now. Then you'd be like, oh, I don't have any money. I was like, oh, i got to go to work. I mean, your mind would be going left, right. Where we, in the Western culture, we would take this and we'd put it up on a table and beat it and bang it and stretch it until it fits nice and neat on a line. In the Middle Eastern culture, they, they want to see how one idea led to another, almost a free associative way of doing it, so how every idea led to one. Now, we might use a works cited or reference page to tell people where some of our ideas came from, but not the ideas that evolved in our head directly, which is like this one. Uh, this could be, again, 
time is looked at cyclically, linearly, or more um, free associatively here. Now, we live in a global world right now, so every essay has taken on facets of each other. We do have um, implicit, which where we don't beat the audience over the head with the exact point, even in our linear way of thinking. We might take the, the reader um, on a maybe non-traditional logic um, to, to get to a certain point, and, and we definitely would talk around the idea. But still, the Western essay this, you know, is, is more linear, Eastern more cyclical, and Middle Eastern more um, free associative. Um, now, now that we know that our essay is very linear, what we want to look at next is, is that essay, the pieces of it, and what shape that essay takes. So we'll do that next time, and I'll see you again soon.